Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create a table from SharePoint list items in Power Automate. So we will basically get the items from the SharePoint list and then format it in tabular format and then we'll email so that we can see how the output is coming. So here particularly we will see how to use this get items flow action, select flow action, create HTML table flow action and also I'll show you how we can use compose and uh, of course we'll see how to use send an email v2 flow action for sending emails to a user. Now for that what I am going to do here is I will open list basically you can see this is the list where we will get the items from uh, from this particular list inside our Microsoft flow. So for that what I will do here is I will go to flow.microsoft.com you can see it here flow.microsoft.com and here if you have not logged in then it will ask you to log in and uh, here I have already logged in so that's the reason it didn't ask me. Once you are in this page you can click on create and then you can see here we will create an instant cloud flow so that we can run the flow manually so click on that i will uh, i'll give a name for this so the name i'll give here is let's say uh, create a table from list item flow so this is a flow name that i gave and uh, then you can see here manually trigger a flow so click on create so now you can see here i have the manually trigger flow action is already added into that next what we will do here is i'll click over there and i will search for get items so no, now get items what it will do here is it will get all the items from the sharepoint uh, site and the list whatever we will uh, select here now you can see two get items and one is get items so make sure to choose get items because we want to get all items from the list now you can see here so for this first first of all what we will do here is i'll select the site url so let me just see whether it is coming or not uh, it is not coming here so i'll click on enter custom value and i will select uh, the site url here you can see and i'll come here i'll put the site url you can see and then i will select the list name in this case the list name is project management i have selected that if you want to add any filters, if you want to limit the number of uh, items that you want to get, then you can use this uh, advanced option as well. So you can see filter order by all these things are there. Here we are not going to use those things. So we have get items which will get all the items from the SharePoint list. By the way, I have written also a complete tutorial for the same where step by step I have explained everything. So you can go through it and I'll put the link in the video description. Now next what we will do is once our uh, flow is uh, our get items is there next what we will do here is I will take the create HTML table flow action so I will select here create HTML table now you can see here you can see this is the create HTML uh, table action so here what we can do here is I can choose the value so basically this is the list of items then if we click on show advanced option then we have option here so automatic is there so automatic means it will get all the columns whatever it, it will retrieve but if i'll put custom then here it is asking it is asking me that you put the header and value so basically i can provide the title assigned to uh, over here and i can get the value value here so this is one way that we can do it uh, we can create the table the other way is i will I will select automatic and in this case what I will do is I will have to uh, choose another flow action so add flow action I will select I will use select you can see select data operation is there so in this case if you see here select we will uh, first thing is from where we want to select we want to select from this get items output I will select value here and here I will put title and uh, then I will choose here the title column so you can see here this is the title column same way what I'll do here is I will add all other column so now if you look at this our table is like this table uh, title assigned to I have uh, taken the display name so since this is a people picker column you can you will get to uh, know about the display name email id whatever you want to use it here you can see assigned to email department all these things are there which you can use then status and i have started and then budget uh, column is there so i have taken all this 
Now next what we will do here is in the create html table instead of value we have to take the output from the select flow action. So you can see here I have taken from the select flow action. Next what we will do here is we are doing any formatting any any other thing. So what I will do here is I will click on next step and in this case what we will do here is we will try to send an email so that we can see uh, how it is appearing. So you can see here send an email uh, I will take this v2 flow action. So you can see here this one and now what I'll do here is I'll put my email address here. So I'll say a email address. You can see I have added this and then you can see the subject. So I'll put let's say report and uh, then uh, the body. So the body will be the output we will, which we are getting from the create HTML table. Now our flow is ready. So I, what I'll do here is I'll save it. So you can see here it is still saving. So once it is done, you can see here it is saved. So I'll, I'll go to the my flows. You can see now this is our flow. So what you can do here is you can click simply this run button. So you can see now you can it is asking us to continue. Click on continue and then run flow. So once you can see the flow will run now. You can see flow run successfully. If you want to check the history so you can go here click over that and you can see here uh, this is what the flow run successfully if you will click on that you will also be able to see the output as well you can see all the steps have been successful so that means our email also it is there it, it has gone there you can see so what i'll do here is i'll open my email you can see this is the email now title assigned to status uh, start date budget you can see this is actually in the table format but it is not coming uh, because we need to provide a border here so what i'll do here is in our flow what we will use uh, the compose uh, flow action to provide a particular css or the styling you can say now it's before sending out the email so click over here add an action so what we will add here is compose and so i will select this compose here you can see and what is the input that it will take so uh, the input it will take is we'll have to write a formula here let me just open it i'll explain it here so this is the formula that we have to write here what exactly this is doing is uh, you can see here we are using the replace function and then we are replacing this on this this table with table border 2 so so that the table will have a border now so i will go to this expression i'll put it and then click on ok now you can see here we have uh, this thing here now save it and go to over here my flows and then we will run it again so when you will run it again now click on run flow and then run now we should see another email you can see the email is there So you can see here still the border is not coming now what we have to do is we will check in the flow exactly what is the problem let's go to this flow i'll edit this flow and then we will see so basically uh, you can see it here in this case uh, in the send email i have used this output of create html table but ideally i should take the output from the compose one so i'll select this one so once I select this one, I'll save this now and you go back here and then we will run it again. So you can see here I run it again. I will click on run flow and it is done now. So if I'll open now, you can see now it is com coming in table format. So if you want to put any other things on that, uh, uh, then you can also add that CSS, you can format that. So this is how we can items from a SharePoint list and then create a HTML table and we can use, uh, we can also send email uh, by using Power Automate. If you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel. Uh, you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Power Platform, SPFX, all these things videos you will get it free. So thank you and have a nice day.